Okay, so I have been receiving lots of emails lately regarding the um, FA exam. Some people want to know, some people are sending me like questions directly and some people want to know like some recommendations and some tips and stuff like that, like how I pass and stuff. So I thought it was a good idea to basically like have a video for everybody out there um, to kind of share my experiences and, um, you know, what I did what helped me out um, pass the exam, especially if you're electrical, because I know even when I took it um, that for EE it's a, it's a little bit more challenging because there's not that much information out there for us um, and that's the reason why I actually started this channel um, to go over some, some other concepts because there's not that much materials out there um, um, in electrical so I just want to share some tips uh, you know that helped me out Okay, so the first thing is to basically uh, make sure you understand the exam format. I know not that they've changed it to um, CBT, so um, just visit the website and you know get your registration and everything else done. Set up your date and whatnot. Um, know your center. Um, know where you're going, what time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you download your PDF file that that particular. I think I have it here. Let me let me show. You. Let me pull it up. Um, that PDF file that contains all the right here, yeah, all the sections. So this is the electrical part. So the way the exam works is that it follows the sections like in this particular order. Meaning you're gonna have math. The first eleven to seventeen questions are gonna be math. Next will be probability. Next will be ethics. All the way to um, software development in this case. So you want to make sure that um, you follow these and you understand every subsection. So like for instance, if you look at um, a particular topic like electromagnetics, make sure you, you go through A through E if you have to Google them, if you, go, if you have to look at your books or whatnot. Make sure you understand all of them because it follows exactly this, this question. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to have Maxwell equations or you're going to have this literally but it's a great idea to f um, to understand every single concept underneath every section okay now um, yes okay so now the next one the next tip that I have recommendation is to open your old books if you still have them now I took it a year after I graduated and um, I know I still had my my old books, even the ones that I didn't really care about because I couldn't sell them. But if you still have them, it's a great idea to you know bring them out out of your shell and um, go through the basic concepts, especially in communication, in signal processing, computers, linear system, and controls, because those are the most challenging part of the um, electrical test, electrical FE. So you just have to review um, the the theoretical background, the concept, the basic ones, because the FE is not really deep. It's it's mostly um, basic concept. So bring your old book back, old books back, and go through them. Just spend like a week or whatever to kind of go through them, um, a week or two, depending on how much you you're willing to to learn here or how much you forgot whatnot. So. Next would be to download the NCE practice exam and the reference book and practice, practice, practice. Now, uh, like I was saying earlier, um, there are not that many uh, materials out there for electrical. So the best one for me was the the practice exam in the in the NCES. That's the closest you could get. I used. Um, the, the Potter, the Lineberg, or whatever his last name is. I used that one, but um, I don't think, I mean, it's it's good, but I don't think it's like, um, it's, either, it's either a lot harder than the test or a lot easier than the test, but it's not really a well representation of the test, you know what I'm saying? So I think the practice practice exam is like, the best one for me is I think it's the best option and that's just my opinion but um, I think 
you know you should you, should, you really I would definitely recommend it to to get that one that practice exam could even though it's not that many questions um, but it really could give you a great idea what to expect literally and of course you have to visit my channel and subscribe hi just had to throw that out there anyway the next one would be um, your hardest topics to to basically study your hardest topics meaning if you're not comfortable with um, with certain topics like for me I w I'm not necessarily the best at communications and computers I'll just say like right now it's not my best um, subject out there I didn't I didn't even have a in those classes so um, I think I had like either a minus or B plus I don't remember but those were really really hard like I didn't I didn't really enjoy those classes at all so um, if communication is your weakness spend more time on that if control is your weakness is, is you know your weakness spend time on that if it's computers if it's power if it's linear system if it's math whatever it is spend a lot of time on that particular topic and then the easy topics um, make sure you nail those I mean you don't even have a choice like engineering economics is like a kick probability let's not even go there math and ethics those are really really like like cake like extremely easy so you cannot miss one single question in those I mean there's no pressure of course but what I'm saying is these are these four are like the is like a walk in a park in my opinion I mean it's like as basic as as you can get you know what I'm saying so it's like one step question or two step questions fairly easy so you can't miss so you wanna bank on those bank as many as many points as you can so that when you get to the hardest part then you know your concept and the fact that you review a little bit can help you guess a little bit more because you know guessing sometimes works okay so study your hardest your weaknesses basically okay because the the easy subjects um are your easy subject like don't spend more time on that than, than you should because you already know them right that's what i did okay one more thing also and this is extremely important as well do not spend too much time on any question i don't care if it's easy i don't care if it's um horrible don't spend any more time than you should in on any question because that is like the worst thing you can do like if you for instance like I'll tell you that there's some question out there like especially in math I'm like oh my god I, I know this I know this and you kind of like want to keep going spending like five six seven ten minutes don't do that like if you do that and especially if the question is 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 easy you're gonna regret it later because um, they get like some some of those questions are sometimes they can get tricky and you really shouldn't spend any more time than you should on any other question I don't care if it's easy I don't care if it's hard don't do it so um, you have approximately like three minutes per question so make sure if it's going over three minutes then just drop it and maybe come back later when you're done or whatnot but don't 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 spend more time on you know any more than three minutes per question Two minutes and be careful and when I tell be when I say be careful I mean sometimes you use the wrong method to solve a problem and then the tricky part is that you're gonna get the answer you're gonna have the answer in the multiple choice I've seen that like so many times to the point where I mean I think I've made some mistake actually on my math math um one of my math videos that I used the wrong method I should have used I believe integral by parts and I've used something else and the answer and the answer um, there is like is actually part of the multiple choice so I saw it and I'm like yes I got it but it's not even though I used the wrong method so you have to be extremely careful to not use the, the wrong method and also plug in if necessary I found myself doing that in the exam you know what I'm saying so don't be embarrassed to do that just plug in if you have to you know you just need to pass so sometimes also it's helpful to, to look at the answers and know what to expect sometimes 
you know, they ask you a question and you're like, what are you talking about? And so if you look at the answers and you kind of see units, for instance, or you, you or you see some some numbers, some some of, some of those answers will start to make sense, and you don't even have to solve some problems, you know, most of the time. Sometimes, not most of the time, but sometimes you don't even have to go through the whole problem. When you look at the answers, then you can kind of have an idea of what to expect, and you kind of go through the motion, and you you know you'll be able to guess right. So, last thing is that don't be nervous and don't really think about it and don't sweat too much you have like up to three times a year to take it now so that should be like um, um, that shouldn't really stop you at all you know what I mean like if you don't if you don't pass the first time take it again if you don't pass take it again like I've no, I know like a lot of people uh, some people pass like the first time they take it but most people don't so it's not like a big deal you have a lot of chances to take it and it's not like going to be on your record or whatever so you know if you take it if you had to take it like 100 times take it 100 times of course i wouldn't recommend that but you know don't worry about it so good luck and subscribe and comment on any of the videos um i'm just a student i'm not a professor i'm in my 20s you know just graduated with my masters but i'm just trying to help so i make mistakes sometimes uh, so email me any questions um, at my um, email right here, rayaenergy at gmail.com. Any questions that you have regarding the FE or problems that you want me to look at or, you know, any help that you need, I'm here to help. I actually enjoy it. Uh, so soon enough, I'll be starting studying for my PE exam and um, hopefully we'll go through the same experiences together. Okay, so... Good luck and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.